friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to 2023. This is my first video of the new year and I'm really excited. I wanna thank everyone for being patient with me. I have been sick for the past week. You can probably hear it in my voice. I'm sorry if I start coughing. I started with an eye infection and then it just brought out all these other conditions that I had. So I'm still recovering, but I'm really excited to get back into filming and to do some crafting. I finally have my energy back. So for this video, we're gonna be doing a DIY project. I am here at Joann's and I'm gonna grab what I need and then we're gonna go back home and start working on this project. This project is for my booth. However, it can also be used at home. So I'm really excited to start working on this DIY project. So let's go inside, grab what we need, and then we're gonna head back home. Okay, we're back home. It's really bright. Sorry if you can see me squinting. I should probably tell you guys what DIY project we are going to be doing. So I will flip you around here in a second. You saw that I got the wood crates from Joann's. They were on sale for $10 a piece and I had a gift card. So I am going to be building um, kind of like a shelving unit, like a DIY shelving unit. And like I said, this is for my booth, but you can totally do this at home, like for your own like sofa table or an end table or anything like that. So I want to show you what I'm doing so that, you know, maybe you'll get inspired to see how it could work like in your home. So I'm going to flip you around. All right. So here are all of my crates and if you guys have been following me, then you may recognize these um, pieces of wood here. So I have a ladder that I use for my craft events for display, and I'm actually going to be taking apart these wood pieces and using them for my, my shelving unit with the crates. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take apart... Trigger, what you doing? All right, I'm gonna have to deal with him. He should not be eating that. Okay, sorry about that. So, let's see if I can get rid of the shadow. So my husband built these for me for the ladder shelf um, display thing, and I'm going to take it apart. He only tacked it in a place, so these should pop off fairly easy with like a little hammer thing. So what I'm gonna do is take that, take them apart, and then um, pull the felt back. Um, it was just um, attached with, I believe it was like the spray glue or whatever. And then I'm gonna do a light sand on the wood so that I can paint them. And I'm still trying to figure out what to do with the crates. If I'm gonna leave them natural like this or if I'm going to stain them, that's gonna be quite a hefty project. So let's get started by taking apart these. Okay, and I do want to say if you don't have scrap wood lying around or you have pieces of wood like this that you could deconstruct and use somewhere else, definitely go to like Home Depot, Lowe's, anything like that and grab a shelving board, um, like the unfinished shelving board, and then you can stain it or paint it whatever color you want and it will work perfect for these wood crates. taken apart 
That was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So now I'm gonna get ready to sand the, the side that had the spray adhesive. The side that had the spray adhesive is still a little tacky. So I'm gonna try sanding it down with 180 and see how that goes. Um, and then we'll go from there if needed. I know this probably looks silly with me wearing my sunglasses in the house. My other glasses are outside. I don't really feel like grabbing them before I start recording. Plus I still have the sty, so you don't need to see that. Anyways, I am now ready to start painting. So for the, the shelving pieces, I think I'm going to go white. And I'm going to just be using leftover primer that I have and I'm going to give it a couple coats and see how the primer works because um, I don't really have enough just regular like house white paint to use. So I'm going to try and use up as much of this primer as possible and see how that goes. Um, I was kind of toying with black or white. I think in the end I'm going to leave the crates unfinished in their natural look like they are right now because two reasons or two reasons so the first reason is because it's in my booth and it is a display piece um you know if i decide to repurpose it in the booth like if i don't like the shelves and i want to rearrange it somehow and use it for another display thing and i want to go with a different color scheme then i can you know do it that way and i won't have to worry about sanding or getting anything new or painting over it because it's a clean slate and the second reason is because if things don't work out in my booth, um, you know, whether I have to downsize my booth or I end up wanting to incorporate something else in the space instead of using this display piece and I want to incorporate the crates in my home, whether it's in my craft room or some other area in my house, um, I would like to also have the option of deciding at that point what I want to do with like the color of the the wood so that's why I'm going to leave it plain for now I think it'll still look fine having the natural look and then having the white shelves because again the focal point will be all the pieces that I will be displaying on it so I'm going to go outside and I'm going to start painting the shelves It is a little while later. It's probably like 4.30 now and I cannot wait for daylight to be longer so that I have better sunlight. Um, I have finished painting these. I did two coats of the just white primer that I had at home and then I did one coat of polycrylic, a satin finish, to protect it so that when I put my decor items on it, it won't scratch. So I'm going to let this fully sit up um, overnight. I just want to show you this is basically the idea that I had. It's just going to be stacked up on top of each other. So tomorrow, let me turn me around. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to set everything up and show you so I can show you the idea that I had for my booth, but also ideas for if we were going to be doing this at home, if I was going to use it for like a sofa table or an end table or something like that. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, it is the next day. Welcome back. So my eyes a little bit more swollen than yesterday for whatever reason. Not really sure what's going on. So I'm going to kind of stay off camera as much as I can today. So kind of revising my plans. I do still want to show you what it's going to look like in my booth, like my booth setup with the shelving display. And I am going to show you 
ideas of how I'm going to style it. And I'm also going to show you a couple different ways if you're going to keep this at your house. Like I said, for like a sofa table or something like that. Um, my original inspiration came from seeing something on Pinterest that was for a sofa table. So I do wanna show you that idea that kind of got me sparked into how I could create this for a display for my booth. So let's get this assembled for what it's gonna look like in my booth. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this video is a little different. This outro is definitely different than all of my other videos. I started feeling under the weather again and I did not get, um, you know, my outro clips done in time, but I really wanted to get this video out for you guys. I know it's been a couple weeks and I miss filming and I miss, you know, interacting with you guys so I really hope you guys did enjoy this maybe got some ideas even if you just grabbed a couple crates and you know did some DIY projects with them you know instead of making a furniture piece like a sofa table or anything but um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week I do plan on having some thrift lit videos coming up soon and some other DIY projects I would like to know in the comments um, do you guys decorate for Valentine's Day? Do you just like to see Valentine's, you know, like projects, like DIY projects? Let me know. I don't normally do them, but I definitely could put a video or two out if that is something you guys are interested in. I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.